The Junior Chamber International is a worldwide organization of young active citizens which has about 200,000 members across the globe. They are engaged in creating positive change in various communities. The local chapter of JCI Accra Royal, being part of their mandate, has conducted educational programs on malaria prevention in some fishing communities across Ghana. The communities include Lada de Kotopon, Ketikrache and Afia de Nigba in the Volta region. Currently, the local chapter has refurbished, painted and stocked a dilapidated library at Lada de Kotopon with computers and books through the Brighton Yokona project. The 2015 president of JCI Accra Royal, Alan Akakbu, said their vision is to identify problems in various communities and take pragmatic steps to solve those problems. The Junior Chamber International is uh, a youth-led organization and it's all about young people, okay? And we are basically change makers. When, when we see a problem in our community, we solve it. We put our hands together, we get partners on board, and then we solve problems. The president-elect of JCI Accra Royale, Sylvia Senu, said Africa is having enormous challenges and government alone cannot solve these problems. In this current age of development, as young people, we need to be hands on deck when it comes to development work. We do not have to sit at the back and look on. Everything cannot be done by government. That's where young people and the youth like us, active people, come in. We can do things to help bridge the gap of financing in terms of development. Okay, when it comes to data collection, young people like myself, you, we can help collect data for free. There will therefore be the need for young people to take the initiative to solve these problems. Meanwhile, for the JCI to function and expand their scope in 2016, the group has held its annual end of the year get together to induct new members into the group and also recognize partners who have played an immense role to support. Kingsley, Edusei Amache for Vasatwa News.